So we've got another look at the CMA CGM Benjamin Franklin, the largest ship ever to visit San Francisco Harbor. And all of a sudden, deep fog has descended upon San Francisco. So she's going to be hard to see. And the camera's having issues focusing, even. So you can see anybody on board. Uh, pretty difficult. So zoom out again. Now you can see she has two deck houses. She's so long that she has to have one house in the stern, which is above the engine room, and uh, where the exhaust goes out, and then another one up close, midway, more than midway through, closer to the bow, so the people can, the crew can actually see where they're going. Because usually it would be at the stern, but she, that would be so far back that they might get lost. And that's it's better for the balance of the boat and so on and so forth. So many, many good issues if you're very large to have two uh, deck houses, two, two castles. Isn't she amazing? Her next stop is Yangshang in China. It's gonna, she'll be get there around the 24th of January. So it's going to take her over three weeks to, to about three weeks to get there. Um, that's the new thing. Um, they're not trying to be that fast. She's going to go about 12 knots, you know, 15 to 18 miles an hour or something like that to get there. Because that saves um, a lot of the oil. And she uses like a swimming pool of oil every day. So um, these things are very significant users of, of oil and energy. And, uh, but now given that the prices of oil is so low, uh, it's getting cheaper and cheaper to transport things across the Pacific Ocean. Anyway, uh, I think that's my little story for today. Let's zoom out again. You can see her, uh, the Benjamin Franklin against the backdrop of Treasure Island in this dense fog. And down below we can see the horn blower. And let's just swing around the bay and see how thick the fog is. We can see the fog is very, very thick. Anyway, that's it for now. Bye for now.